Hi and welcome to this short query elements tutorial. In this tutorial I will demonstrate the radio buttons filter widget and how to use it with the archive widget. Here we have our editor page. Now let's add our radio button filter. Let's add a title. And enable the display search button. Then we click query. And as you can see, we have our type, tags, categories, or taxonomies. So let's select tags. Now let's click on our archive widget. Go to the tags section and enable use query parameter. Yes. An update. Now let's review our archive page. Here we have our radio button list with the various tags. And here we have our posts. In this case, cafes. Let's select a tag. As you can see, selecting a tag and clicking search updates the result. Now let's change our radio button values to categories. Let's change our archive. Disable tax query parameter and enable it for categories. Let's update. And refresh. Here we have our categories and our posts. Let's select a category and refresh the result. Here we have two results. Select this category, we have no results. Any, and we have the default. Let's go back to our editor. Click our filter widget. Let's select taxonomies and select the Specialities taxonomy. And we click our archive widget. And we need to disable our categories parameter since we're not using that feature. Let's go to taxonomies. Let's re-add here. We select Specialities. Select term taxonomy ID. And it should use the query parameter. Let's refresh. Here we have our taxonomies. And here we have two taxonomies. Let's select one. And search, as you can see, the result is updated. That was a quick demonstration of the radio buttons filter. If you have any questions, just ask them in the section below. Have a nice day.